During the day, Shadow Duffy is a construction worker and a mechanic. Being able to work on as well as run heavy equipment, so I was able to fix the axle shaft on a bobcat. But in the evening, the 37-year-old transforms into an aerialist and circus performer. Do you get scared when you perform? Yes. A dose of fear is always healthy. It gives you a healthy respect for your equipment. Since the age of 17, Shadow has been training in aerial acrobatics and has even won several awards for her art. I ended up taking a few competitions, actually second in the world at one point in Tokyo. Uh, I took best in Michigan titles for years and years. Uh, until we found out I was sick. The mighty artist was diagnosed with myasthenia gravis, a rare autoimmune condition that weakens muscles. My face stopped working and my body followed shortly after. What was your reaction when doctors first told you that you will never be able to perform because of your medical condition? Um, I kind of laughed. They also told me I had six months to live uh, because they had found a tumor in my chest where they did the surgery. I've learned to talk to and trust my body enough to be able to do the things that they told me I would never do. So yeah, I definitely looked mortality in the face there quite a few times. Did it break you? Yes. So many times. Twelve years later, Shadow is standing strong, a pinnacle of willpower for people facing similar life oh, challenges. Those are hard. <laughs> I found ways to be healthy, to eat healthy, to mitigate the symptoms and manage what I can do and practice a lot. This is my physical therapy. Are you afraid that this could get worse and you could get to a point where you will never be able to perform? I know it will. One day I woke up 12 years ago and I couldn't speak and nobody knew why and everybody was telling me I was crazy and I know it's going to come back and I know it's going to take me out. So to live the dream I get to live every day, um, knowing that a clock on it is pretty amazing in my book. Now, as Shadow continues to battle her fears, her advice for people looking to train in aerial acrobatics is to only do it in a professional setting. Reporting on overcoming challenges, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News.